when we again ask us of our testing and drought, medyo natagalan ako actually, ako yung huli, <laughs> alam ni Guy, kasi mahirap siya. I had to revisit memory day in Magali. And I could not even imagine standing in front of you all but I thank the Lord for this opportunity to share my testimony. So, to begin with, I was baptized in a Roman Catholic church. As um, far as I could remember as a teenager, I was actively participating in every church activity, like some of you here came from Catholic as well, so you would understand me, like Flores de Mayo, yung simbang gabi, yung nine mornings, kumpleto ko yan kasi sabi nila, bag na kumpleto mo, pwede ka mag-wish. Yun nga. So, tapos yung yung rosario na pag hindi ko ma-memorize ma kapag hita. <laughs> tapos yung pinitin siya pag pag-alain ko. So, marami pang iba. Actually, pag naisip ko yung um, time ko sa simbahan, masaya siya kasi marami kong naging kaibigan, barkada. Tapos sabi nga, one time ng tatay ko, dalhin mo na kayo yung mga gamit mo dun sa simbahan ko. <laughs> kasi sobra talaga akong nagpa-participate. But sa lahat ng mga yun, hindi uh, ko man alam kung ano mga pintaw na kalitasan. Kung ano talaga ang ibig sabihin mo dati. Ano yun? But uh, there was a turning, turning point in my life and faith almost 10 years ago. It was a time when I found out that my dad was murdered. I had to ask God many times, why? I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to my dad. I even hoped that it was just a bad dream. I had so many regrets that if ever I would be given just a chance, just a day to, to say to my father, thank you and I love you, but I, I didn't get that chance. I was consumed by anger hatred, so much darkness in me that I wanted to take revenge. My entire family was in danger that we had to stay in Manila for a while. We lived in fear and I was in a state of depression for years, but no one ever noticed it. No one. Every time I revisit this chapter of my life, I get to be reminded of God's divine plan. That at first, I couldn't understand. On that day when I could no longer feel that, that hatred, I could no longer feel, can you imagine that? I could no longer feel the hatred to the man who killed my God that day. I was also, my greatest encounter with Christ. I knew I'd forgiven him, just like how God has forgiven me for my sins. He answered my prayer. I realized that God has been using people in my life to remind me every time my faith goes weak. Kamusta ka na lang? Uh, are you coming to church this Sunday? And it took me years to fully understand his purpose. Why I keep on coming back to UBCPS here. For this is a place where I heard and fully recognized what salvation means. The good news. Coming to church every Sunday is no longer based on external factors but already the desire to listen to his word and praise him. Actually, I've got a diary 
but it's more than just a diary. I, I've kept it for years. Every time I'm in Triumph or even um, New Year's Eve, Christmas, I would write down my, my prayers. So before I wrote this testimony, I, I read back and uh, one significant line that I noticed in my in my prayers um, was, Lord, help me find my purpose. My journey of being a Christian has just begun and it's never been easy. The road is narrow and I'm still far from being an ideal Christian, but through faith in him, I already knew my purpose and that is to serve him even more through my inner gifts for his ministry. And I would like to end this with my favorite verse from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I knew the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. So every time I'm in a challenging situation, I always find comfort in this verse. Regardless of what's happening, God can work through it to prosper and give me hope and rest in Him. All I have to do is to believe. Thank you. And